Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Fascinating challenge today. I don't want to call it a little challenge because I believe it isn't. It's a six by six Sudoku, but it's still a big challenge. It's called 105. It's by Ranks, who's been a friend of the channel for a long time um, and is, you know, I want to say a leading Sudoku solver, setter and theorist. Um, and I'm going to say that. In fact, I already said it. Um, I don't know what the title means. It's, I'm actually not even 100% sure. In, in the UK, we would say 105 for the number 105. Maybe in America, it is standard to call that 105. I'm not, that's weird that I don't know that for definite. I think it probably is true. Anyway, um, I don't know what that means. I don't know what is going on. I do know the rules of the puzzle. I will go through them in a moment. I will first of all mention that we have, of course, our um, our Patreon monthly reward is anyone, uh, Tennis Anyone. That's what it's called. It's by Glum Hippo and ourselves. Um, it's a fabulous collection of six puzzles slightly themed on tennis with a, with a very themed on tennis meta. Um, do check it out. It's been getting very good reviews, and we're we're very proud of it. So it's on Patreon. Um, it'll be a live competition only until the twentieth of August. Um, and elsewhere around the channel, of course, there are all of our apps available on links under the video, together with Sven Sudoku Pad, our merchandise, etc. Um, so we will check that out. Or no, I suggest you check that out. But the first link is to this puzzle which is a six by six, and I'm gonna go through the rules now. So it's not quite normal Sudoku rules apply because they're normally about one to nine and three by three boxes, but it's effectively the same. Place one to six in every row, every column, and every two by three box. Now, digits cannot repeat along the marked diagonals, and a digit outside the grid shows the sum of the digits on the indicated diagonal. So those add up to six, those add up to 15. They don't necessarily have to be different. In case, indeed, they couldn't all be different on that nine diagonal. Do give it a try. Um, you can judge from the video length how hard I found it. And I have heard that it isn't easy. So we'll see. Um, I am going to restart my clock and say, oh, let's get cracking. So what can we possibly do straight away here? Well, not much straight away. I mean, I can mark the five diagonal as made up of either one, four, or two, three, and the six diagonal is either one, five, or two, four. I'd love to say the seven diagonal is one, two, four, but the fact that there can be repeat digits gives it at least three other possibilities, probably precisely three other digit makeup possibilities. And then I don't really know. Is this about geometry? Is it about... By geometry, what I'm sort of saying is there are probably digits in the puzzle. Yeah, look. Look at this cell. Where does whatever this is go in this box, which is box two? Um, it cannot go there and it cannot go on the line. So it's clearly in one of those cells and therefore we know it's one, two, four, or five. Down here, this must be one of those two for the same reason. That's one, two, three, or four. But despite being six by six, that doesn't actually give us very much info. I can't see, I mean, obviously that must appear in one of those two and so on. Is it? Yeah, okay, I've had an idea. And my, my idea is basically to add up the whole grid. Okay, there's a sort of rectangle of digits. Yeah, okay, those add up to five. Let's just color them. They add up to five. They add up to six. That's a total of 11 so far. Now, bear with me, because I'm going to get higher, I think. 
Yeah, I am. Look, those add up to 9. That's 20. These add up to 15. That's 35 in purple now. Um, I'm just going to be careful about the other ones I do. Right, I'm going to do that. That gets us to 52. And this one takes the total of purple to 63. Now, the big deal here is that the diagonals, we know their totals. We're at 63. Because they can't have a repeat digit and they have six digits, even though there's no little killer clue, we know that the total of that diagonal is 21. That is the sum of 1 to 6. It is, in effect, the secret in a 6x6 six six, um, Sudoku, which, in which every row, column, and box adds up to 21. But in this puzzle, the two long diagonals also do. So we got to 63, which is divisible by 7. We're going to add 21, which is divisible by 7, and 21, which is divisible by 7. And the way I'm going to do that is say that we've now got... 9 lots of 7 plus 3 lots of 7 plus 3 lots of 7. We've got 15 lots of 7, which is, of course, 105, which is why the title of the puzzle is what it is. Oh, that is gorgeous. All of these purple cells. I haven't, by the way, used that 7 diagonal, which is interesting, but it's. I've added up all the other numbers. They add up to what I say is 105. I'm going to subtract that from the total of the grid, which is 21 times 6, and is therefore 126. And I'm left with 21, which is therefore the sum of these white cells. So let's make the white cells a different colour. Let's get rid of all the purple. And these, whites, these orange cells now add up to 21. Right, and the most that one of the pairs can be is 6 and 5. And therefore, the other pair adds up to 10 and is 6 and 4. But I don't know which is which. So we will put a 6 in the little corner, which indicates that one of those two digits in this box is a 6. Same down here. And then we've got the sort of asymmetry of one of them having a 4 and one of them having a 5. Right, 6 on this diagonal now has to be in one of those two cells. Uh, I, I would normally only use corner marks for indicating the limitation within a box of places for a digit. But here, I don't want to forget that it's limiting places on the diagonal. Oh, that's interesting. Those two places see all of these cells, which can no longer be six. Because there is a 6 in one of those two. And that means there can't be a 6 in any of these. Therefore, OK, within these boxes now, 6 is in one of those groups of cells. Ah, it's not here, because that is on this mystic 7 diagonal. So one of these two is a 6. Oh, and this 7 diagonal is interesting. Right, the very fact that I've used all the other diagonals to make up the sum of 105, and I think that's, I'm in no doubt that's why that is the title of the puzzle. We've done the right thing. And we've got this information about these. That leads me to think that the 7 diagonal is going to be the way into the rest of the puzzle. Now, this... These digits all see some cells. Or, yeah, they all see that cell. They all see that cell. And they all see that cell. Does that mean this is a set of 1 to 6? No, it doesn't, actually, because those two could be the same. Oh, that's very annoying. Is there a group of six that we're meant to be able to make up? I think those five all see each other. They are going to have to be different in the final grid. No, they're not. That's not true. The seven can have a repeat digit. Oh, bother. Bobbins, if I may coin such a phrase. Now, can that be a six on the nine diagonal? They would all be ones. There'd have to be a 1 on this diagonal. Oh, there'd have to be a 1 on... 
Oh, on this diagonal in one of those two. Ugh. Be a one there and a one. Okay, the one on the positive diagonal would be there. So that would be the disposition of ones if this if this was a six. Well, it is doable. We'd have ones in those positions, and that's fine, I think. This would be a 2, 3. That would be a 2, 4. One of these would be a 2. Hmm. Okay, I haven't got very far with that. There can even be a 5 on this diagonal, as long as it's in this box, and the other two digits on the diagonal are 1s. So maybe that isn't quite as crucial as I was hoping, but... Or maybe I'm just missing the implications. What is going on here? I mean, I still believe it's about this 7 diagonal. What is that telling me? doesn't even have to have a one. It could be two, two, three. Hmm. The seven and the nine diagonal are quite low numbers. I suppose the 15 and the 17, maybe they're sl quite high in the context of a puzzle in which the average digit is three and a half. No, they're not really. Yeah, the average is three and a half, so the average for those cells would be 14. And that's m not much above that. Oh, bother. So I think the nine and the seven are the places to, to go. don't really know what's going on here, to be fair. Um, so these orange cells added up to 21. Oh, that's... There's a six in one of these two. Now, does that go with a four or a five? Why do I think it might? Because if there wasn't a four or five in this pair, then one of these would have a four and one of them would have a five. And these would always be from one, two, three. No, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And that has to be in one of these. That ah, oh, this has to be in one of those. Of course, that's that's why my brain's telling me these are from six five four because I did this logic earlier. It's it's this geometry logic. That digit can't be in any of those cells because it sees them all. So in this box, it's in one of those two. And by the same token, that digit can't be in any of those. I did that earlier, when I was kind of expecting. I can sort of see it now. My brain was expecting that when I knew these, I'd know that these were part of it. Now, this goes hand in hand with another idea I've had earlier. Right. Let's add this grid up in a slightly different way. This is weird. I think this works, actually. Right. Um... For now, no, okay, we'll, we'll add it up in orange and yellow. So orange equals 21. We worked that out. It was 126 minus 105. That's 21. We know that these equal a 6 and a 5. So we're up to 32. Now let's add these diagonals in again. They were both 21. So 32 plus 42 is 74. Yes, now we're going to add both of these columns, and I know that adds the central cells twice. 
we got up to 74 and we're going to add two lots of 21 and we get to 116, 74 plus 42, 116, but we've added the, these central cells twice and now I'm going to add these rows, 116 plus another 42 is 158. Who ever thought that you'd count up to 158 in a 6x6 six six puzzle? That is funny. Anyway, 158 for the whole grid, but I've counted these central cells three times. So now I subtract the whole grid, including the central cells once, and 158 minus 126 is 32, and that is the total of the central cells twice, and therefore they add up to 16. Um, I'm going to leave them coloured something because I want to remember that 16 total. Now, the digits 1, 2, they're all different. This is one of the features of, of um, X Sudoku or diagonal Sudoku is that as you go out of the grid from the centre, each, each sort of node on the spider web, all the four digits are different because they all see each other both horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, well, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Same is true of these. They all have to be different digits, adding up to 16. Now, if we take 16 from 21, which is the total of 1 to 6, it's 5. So either a 1 and 4 are missing, and this is 6, 5, 3, 2, or a 2 and 3 are missing, and this is 6, 5, well, six, well, one, four, five, six in some order. That would be very helpful if it was six, five, three, two. Um, can ah, now this is quite interesting. What I'm quite interested in now is one, two, and three. Now, if this digit that I'm in, row 4, column 3, if that is from 1, 2, 3, then... Then you get a pair from 1, 2, 3 here. No, hang on, maybe that's not right. Oh, ah, <laughs> what if it's three specifically? Look at this, look at this. If this was a three, you can't have a three in those cells, so you must have one there. That means you can't have a three in these cells, so you must have one there. But that means you can't have a three in these cells, and the three we're positing here says you can't have one in those and there's nowhere that you could put a three in box one. That is incredible. That is not a three, but this is incredibly useful. This is now a one, four, five, six, triple. It has no two in it. We know purple adds up to 16. So there is a one on this diagonal in one of these positions. Now, by the same logic we did with the six earlier, that means none of these can be a one, and one in the central uh, boxes is confined to those cells. Can that be a 1 on the big 17 diagonal? Yeah, it probably can. I'm, I'm going to ignore that. Oh, uh, it's tricky. Uh, it can. Um, right, there's a 1 on this. Now, we need to put 2 and 3 on this diagonal. Could they both go here? If that was two and three. That would be a one five pair. This would be six four. This would have to be one five. 
and this would be 2, 3, and that does work. Oh, that's irritating. What I was trying to prove was that if 2, 3 can't both go here, one of them must go here, and this will become a 1, 4 pair. And, oh no, of course! I've done it already and I just didn't realise. Where does this digit go in box 5? It doesn't go in those cells. It goes in one of these. And this is already a 1-4 pair. Now, does that say anything about 2 and 3? Actually, may maybe it doesn't. That could still be 5-6. And that could be 2-3. OK, so... So it may be valuable to try and reduce these central cells to two options, especially, well, especially if I could remove four or five from this. Now, if this was a four, that would be a four-six pair. Um, the, there wouldn't be a four in this pair then, and four would have to be in one of these cells. Uh, the four on the leading on the on the positive diagonal would be in one of those two. Mm, okay, that works. I haven't been thinking about the the little killer clues in a while, or the sort of the the bigger ones, the the seven, the fifteen, and the seventeen, or the nine. The nine's quite important, isn't it? Now again, let's go back then to thinking about this being a 6, because that requires all of these to be 1s on the 9. And if all of those are 1s, then there's nowhere to put 1 in the central purple area, and that's impossible. So that is not a 6. You don't get a total of that diagonal. OK, what if this... One of these is a 6. If that's a 6, that's a 6, that's a 6. That's a 6 in box 2. That's a 6. That's impossible. That's interesting. Which, wh where did I start this? I started this by saying if that is a 6, then this can't be a 6, so that one is. Then in this column, in column 2, that has to be a 6. That deals with the 6 on the positive diagonal, so the 6 in box 2 is there. The 6 in row 4 has to now be there. Well, it had to be from the beginning. But that would lead to the presumption that there's a 6 here, and there can't be because there's a 6 in one of those two. So. This is not a 6. That was worth doing. This is the 6 in this box. Uh, there's a 6 in one of these two cells. That is an X-wing with 6 in one of those two, and that can't be a 6, because they use up the 6 in columns 4 and 5. I mean, this is one of the most complicated 6x6 six six Sudokus I've ever seen, but we've got somewhere now. Now, this is a 4-5 pair. I don't know what that means. Four, four can't be in any of these cells because it's being used at least once in that pair and that pair. Oh, six is now in one of those two. I just follow up with sixes maybe. We've got six in one of those and one of those. Right, if that was a six, that's a six. That's a 6. That's a 6. If that's a 6, that's a 6. That on the diagonal can't be... Oh, bother. Don't know. That's irritating. Right, let's try something else. If this is a 5, that's a 5. In this box, that's a 5. In box 5. Um, then in 
box what's its face one of those one of these and that one are all fives this that doesn't work because this can't be a five that's lovely right if that is a five let's just go through this again the five in box one has to be there the five in box five has to be there now that because we've used the fives on both diagonals the fives in boxes two and six have to be in those positions and the only possible place for a five in column six is there why doesn't that work on the seven diagonal because both of those would have to be ones and they're in the same box so that's not a five and that may have done absolutely nothing but it on the other hand it kind of demonstrates how Oh, hang on, this is a lovely X-wing of sixes. No, it's not. I was going to say they're both on the same diagonal. Absolute bobbins, tripe and nonsense. OK, it demonstrates how we can reduce these to two possibilities, which I, I think may be worth something. Yeah, I mean, if that's a four, that's a six now, and that's a five, and that's a one. If that's a four... That's a one, that's a five, that's a six. Right. Okay, let me just... Oh, but I don't know that one of those is a four. I thought that was going to take possibilities out of it. Let's consider this again. Now, if it's one or five, that is a one-five pair. So it's a bit more interesting if it's a four. Because then this is a four-two pair. Yeah, fours can go around the grid all right in these patterns on the outside. You could have three fours there, or you could have three fours there, and I can't see reasons why not. Let's think a bit more about this being a four. It seems to work all right. Okay, what about this? We got rid of five. From that one. I don't know whether we get rid of five or four from this. I don't know if we get rid of either, but let us consider this. We, we, I mean, we did it by means of this seven diagonal in the end. Okay, I'm going to think about it now. If this is a five, that's the five in box six. Then there's a one four pair on the positive diagonal. And that is a two four. Yeah, that's a two four six little killer. So the five goes in the corner then. Five here. This is a, in orange, we've got a 5-4 pair to make up the count to 21. So 5 in this box goes here, then 5 goes here, and that doesn't work. Right, right, this is all right. This is difficult, though. If this was a 5, this is actually a huge deduction for the puzzle, so it's very important. If this was a 5, the 5 in box 6 must go here, because that cell sees all of these ones. So we have a 5 here. Now... How do I know the 5 goes in the corner? Because... And am I right about that? It's in one of those two cells. Now, what I worked out, and maybe I got this wrong, I thought that's a 1-4 pair. And that's six. I didn't think that. Maybe I've got this wrong. I was going to say, if that's a five, that's a five. So now definitely, five's in one of those two cells. Let's just stick with that for now. Oh yes, I worked out that this is not a five because these are a four five pair for the original count, the very first thing we did with the orange cells. So. If that's a five, that's a five, and now one of those two is a five. 
because it can't be on the diagonal in box 1. Now that has to be a 5. Now it can't be on the diagonal in box 2. And we've got these cells looking at it. It's going to have to be the... Oh, OK, I was wrong. This is a possible disposition of 5s. That's annoying because I thought I was on to things now. Maybe let's try taking four out of this cell. That might be more interesting. Now, again, that means four has to be here. Again, it means four has to be in one of these cells. And that gives us a six one pair in the purple. So four's in one of those. Four has to be there though, so we're narrowing it down. One of these two, but it's got to get on that diagonal. So fours would be in those positions. Ah, that doesn't work for the nine diagonal. How perfect is that? That is brilliant. Right, if that's a four, these can't be four, and that is. And four's in one of those two cells. This orange cell is not a 4, if that one is. We, we know that now. So one of those is a 4. Um, one of those is a 4. Have I got my logic wrong again? There, no, there is a 4 on, in this 1-4 pair on the 5 diagonal. So we narrow it down. Now we need a 4 on the positive diagonal, that's got to be in the corner. So fours are like that, but that is going to make these two cells fours. And this diagonal is going to add up to at least ten when you put a couple of ones in. So that is not a four. Now, that's not quite what I wanted to achieve, because I'm not eliminating any one digit. I want to form a triple in here, and I'm not, I'm not getting it done. But it's, it's interesting. Now, one of these is a 5. That is because we've ruled out 5 from there. Maybe I should have focused on that. Or... I think this puzzle is about as much about what can't go in places as what can. Oh, look, we've got 1s in those positions. So this is at least 2. Now these can't add up to more than 5, so they're selected from 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now there is a 5 in one of those positions, in the purple, so those can't be 5. So 5 in box 6 is in one of those two. In box 5 it's in one of those two. Is this going anywhere? It might be. Well, it's going to have effects on some of these diagonals. So we started, well, now we did start with the seven diagonal finally after doing loads of other work. So we've got five in these places. Yeah, that's interesting. How are we going to make the diagonals work here? OK, let's say that was a 2, 4, 6 thing. So then 5 would have to be in those cells, because we know from a 5 being in one of those that it's not up here. So if 5's on one of those cells, it can't be here on that diagonal, so it's here. That means it would have to go here in box 5. So this is all based on this being a 2, 4, 6 little killer. Now, the other places we have 5, here, because it mustn't go on the diagonal. In box 1, there is nowhere left. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. There's the orange cell left, but that's not allowed. Oh my goodness. OK, if that is a 2-4 diagonal, this works. Where does 5 go? Remember, there is a 5 here. So 5 would have to be in one of those cells. Then it can't be on the diagonal. Then down here it has to be an orange. It can't therefore be an orange 
up at the top left because of this weird 4-5 relationship between these cells. I mean, I'm terrified now that I should just have looked at that 4-5 and filled other things in. I, it's too late for that. I'm not doing it that way. Um, but now 5 in the top, in box 1, would have to be in one of those two cells. Can't get on the diagonal again. But that has left nowhere for 5 in box 5 because of the diagonal usage. So no, this is not a 2-4 diagonal. That is 1-5 which I think is probably telling me 5 goes here so it can be placed there, but I don't know that yet. This is 1, 5. Now, come on, let's use that somehow. The trouble is I don't know how. Oh, yes, no, no, a 5x wing with that is no use because I already knew there was a 5 in one of those cells. Um, right, 5 on the positive diagonal is definitely in one of those places. So that can't be a five. So five's confined to those three cells. In box three. Now, if that was a five, that has to be a five. Now there's nowhere on the diagonal for five to be except in the corner. So that would be a five, that would be a five. And that would be a five. And that works annoyingly well. Okay, what was the alternative? Where, where did I start that? I started that with that being a five. Let's start with this being a five. And then you get five here in box two. Fives in one of these cells in box one, one of these in box four, one of these in box five. And now I just don't know. Um, oh, that didn't do it. I've got confused. Let's look at this 17 diagonal. Because this got quite low, didn't it? Is that interesting? Right, if this was a 6, because remember, 6 is in one of those two positions. If this was a 6, what I'd like to do is find out that it's not a 6, but let's see what happens if it is. Then we get 6s in those spots. So there's no more 6s on this diagonal. Now, these are either both fives, or neither is a five. Is that right? No, not necessarily true. Maybe I've got to think about these, this central quadrant a bit more. If that's a four, six, five, one is all just fixed. So if that's a four, the 5 there makes that a 5, and that makes that a 4. So if this is a 4, that's a 4, that's a 4. That's a 4. That's a 4, and that's a 4. Yeah, it's going to be a question of which of these messes up a diagonal too much. Right, the two dispositions, I'm looking at this 15 diagonal now and sixes. The two dispositions of sixes, one of them is like that, and that puts one six on this diagonal. The other is like this, and that also puts one six on this diagonal. So one of those sixes is on the 15. This can't be six or five because five's confined to there. Um, only one of these can be a six. That can't be a five. Neither of these can be a five, actually, because we've got a five X-wing there, or definitely a five in purple there. So there's no fives on this diagonal. So there is a six. There's no fives. 
four, four, one. Okay, that can't be a four because of the one, four pair. Now, does that mean one of these has to be a four? That would be incredibly revealing if it was true. Can you do this with... Oh no, there is a six, of course. Yeah, hang on. There's got to be a four on the diagonal somewhere. Because otherwise it's six, three, three, three. Actually, there is one disposition of that that works, and that would be six here and threes here. Now, what breaks there? Three there. Um, three there. And three there, nothing breaks. Oh, I at least wanted to say there was a four on the on this diagonal somewhere. Look, this adds up to 17. That's much more profitable, potentially. That's too bigger than 15, which in the context of a tight little puzzle like this is actually quite a big number. I just don't know how to use it. Um, oh, hang on, I've only just worked out. Ones must be disposed between these cages in some fixed cycle. So if that's a one, that's four, that's five, that's one. So then they'd be on the top left side of the diagonal line. If that's a one, that's four, that's five, that's one. So then they'd be on the bottom side of the line. So what does that mean? <laughs> Don't know. They're in one of those pairs of places. I don't say there's some other holistic adding up of the grid that I can do. It doesn't seem likely, but you never know. Maybe I can reduce this and I just failed before. Now, yes, all right, this can't be a four now. Now that I made that a one five pair, that was the whole point of making it a one five pair, because if this was a four, there's nowhere four can go in box two. So that is one five, one or five. Now what has that done? That means four is in one of these two cells. That means one of these three is four. Now if that's a four, that's a four. Four is there. Four mustn't go on the diagonal, so it would go there and there and there. I can't see the problem with that. There might be one, but I can't see it. OK, let's think about the disposition of digits around here. If that's four, we go one, five, six. And if that's six, then we go five, one, four. I don't know, it doesn't, it's not shouting at me how we do it. Is it the fact that there is a four in one of these two? That's the newest thing we got. That means one of these three is a four. I, if it's there, then this diagonal goes six, five, Right, I know why that... Do I know why that doesn't work? If it's there, this diagonal goes 6, 5. This is if 4 is there. Now that makes that a 5. So we've got 4 here. Definitely going to end with four. Oh, I think we always end with four here. Right, if we get that four here and a six five pair therefore here, which we do get, that's a five, that's one, that's five, that's four. And that was based on four being here. The alternative in purple is that four is there 
in which case 4 is automatically here. So 4 is here either way. That is now a 5 to make the original sum of 21 work. And that is going to let us dispose everything somehow. I believe, he said wildly confidently, yes. That 4 goes down here. 1, 4. I think we're going to suddenly finish this puzzle, which is weird, but it's a feeling that I have now. I'm, uh, it's probably it's probably going to be proved wrong, and now I've said it, but um, fours, come on, keep tracing them around. Four on the diagonal is either there or there. So that's not a four. Now, four up here is in one of those two. Four on this diagonal is either there or there. Yes, that's correct. So that can't be a four anymore because of those. Right, so this is two or three. These now need to add up to four or five to make this seven diagonal work, of course. And it didn't really do anything. Bother. Um, Okay, we didn't we didn't get finished from this. Now that five, that was looking up here. I just didn't notice that. Sorry. One there, five there. That's putting five in one of these two places. The one is putting one in one of these two. Now one on the diagonal, on the on the fur on the leading diagonal is in one of those places. That's not a one anymore. I've never really looked at this 11 diagonal. That's probably a huge miss. Could that be a 6? Oh, it couldn't be that simple, could it? Well, now... Now it can't be. I, maybe it won't have worked before. I don't know. I'm sorry if that 11 diagonal has been screaming at me all the time. I've barely noticed it for some reason. Maybe because it goes in a different direction from all the others. Anyway. This can't be a 6 now, because those three digits, none of them can be a 1 anymore. And therefore, it would add up to at least 13. So that's not a 6. So we've placed the 6, and now we can dispose all the 6s. God, I don't know. This isn't meant to be this difficult, I suspect, but it, it really isn't easy. Um, 45 minutes. I think I'm finishing now, if that's any consolation to those of you who've put off a meal to watch this or some such. That's a one. That's a one. No, 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 that's not. We've got, we've got a one in this box already. That's a one. The last one is there. That's not a one. These two add up to six, so this one is not a two. Um... I'm sure this is very, very straightforward at this point. I just need to see what I'm doing. I can place four in this box. That makes that three. Now I can finish the diagonal completely. Can I do the other one? Yes, because of the bottom row is an eye wing. Oh, three in the corner, having a little party on its own. Three, two, that's a four. That's a 2-3 pair. Four in this corner. No party for you. Another 2-3 pair. Ooh, weird little deadly pattern, but it's going to be resolved by a killer, a little killer in a moment. And this little killer... Oh, look, there's no ones on it. So it's 2-3, two, 2-2. Two, two. And that makes this one add up to 11. There we go. Wow, 46 minutes. I, if I just miss something blatant on that, I don't know. But I suspect all of the orange and purple deductions were necessary in this. I'd be very surprised if they weren't. Very interesting puzzle from Ranks. Thank you for watching, as always. I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.